Bible went on to say, verse 50, Nor do men light a lamp and put it under a peck measure, but on a lampstand, and it gives light to all in the house. When God likes you, He wants to put you in a place where everybody can see you. But He needs you to keep beholding Him. When you're not beholding Him, he, he can't put you in no lampstand. Because you're going to just be a candle. Do, do you understand? The Bible said in Revelation, when they weren't doing certain things, Jesus said, I will remove your lampstand. You will got to be, a, be in a place where you can be seen. When you are placed on a lampstand, it's for what? Illumination. There's some of us, God don't want to talk to nobody because you don't, you, you're not going to reflect anything. No. There's some of us, God don't want to help nobody. You're not going to reflect nothing. We mean it. What you're reflecting will, will not be of the kingdom. When God makes you a lampstand, a place you can be seen, the reflection is what? Appropriate. In that sense, the church is like the moon. Individually, as you'll see when we get to Philippians, we're like stars. But collectively, we're like the moon. The whole church takes the light of the sun and release it into the dark world. Individually, as the star, they also take the light and reflect it to the dark world. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says, verse 16, Let your light so shine before men that they may see your moral excellence and your amen, praiseworthy noble. Amen. Hmm? Yeah. You talk directly. Amen. The Bible says noble and good deeds and recognize and honor and praise and glorify. Amen. Amen. So the Bible says, your good deeds and recognize and honor and praise and glorify your Father who is in heaven. Mm. So when you let your, the reflection of God come through you, then, man's, then men see, amen, that which is worthy of praise of Christ coming through you. Mm. Amen. When the moon align yourself perfect with the sun, then all the sun is can come through. Mm. But for that to happen, we got to surrender our all to Him. Yes. You got to give him everything. Yes, we are to be preoccupied. You understand? Making up what is lacking. Get off yourself. Please get off the flesh and the sin and the world. And be preoccupied with your inadequateness. And you're not being a light in the world. That is a problem. Until if the Lord appeared to them, many of you will weep. Because you are not making up what is lacking. You don't serve the devil. But you definitely don't serve the Lord. So indirectly you serve the devil. Because if you're not preoccupied, becoming familiar with the light and reflecting the light, what are you preoccupied with? Self. Self-benefit, not God, the devil. This is what the Bible said. Pick up your cross. The cross eliminates self, sin, flesh, and the world. Meaning the distraction, the distortion, amen, and the deception. Self will allow you. Self likes to be deceived. Self will drink, smoke, whatsoever to disillude itself so it loses conscious perception. Hmm. Sin and self is inseparable. The world is a way to distract you. The flesh is a way to preoccupy you. You have to be a light in this world. You have to shine. So Jesus is glorified. When people are not knowing Jesus, it's because you're a poor reflector. Let's, let's switch it on. Yeah, you know it's because you're a poor reflector. And why are you a poor reflector? You are preoccupied with something else. There's something else of your attention. No one can say you're not in the kingdom of life. But what they could say, they say, no, you live your life. You do not make up what is lacking. And you're probably not good. You're probably, most likely you're not going to be able to help the body and you're not going to even be a light in the world. The church is a lighthouse in this dark world. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are almost there. Let's do two more scriptures and then we're going to wrap up for today. In Jesus' name. Let's do Philippians 2.15. Correspond with this. Philippians 2. Say amen when you're there. 2.50. The Barbary. That you may show yourself to be blameless and guileless. Innocent and uncontaminated, which meaning you have not been eclipsed. You know you are the kingdom of light, you're making up what is lacking. You know you have no light or righteousness or anything good within you, so you're reflecting Jesus perfectly. Amen? When you are contaminated, Satan has managed to eclipse you somehow. You typically will come through the flesh, sin, the world, amen, or self. The Bible says, Uncom uncontaminated children of God. Without blemish, faultless, unrebu unrebukable. God won't have to rebuke you like Christ rebuked Peter mm -hmm. and many of the other disciples. In the midst of a crooked and wicked generation, spiritually perverted. When they look at things, you know, Pastor Joe wants to look up what pervert means. It, it's something that gone crooked. Like, imagine this, 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 something, this highway was supposed to go this way. But somehow it kind of, it become pervert, warped. So you have you ever see floorboards and then they warp? Perfect. You can't step on it properly? Yes. Yeah. When you become, if we're supposed to be a spiritual people, and the Bible says we have become warped. Yeah, deviation. Yes. Yeah. You're no longer on a straight line. You have deviated from the path. Yeah. Amen? It's perverted. Such a thing is perverted. The Bible says perverted and perverse. Among whom, so that's the generation you're living in, among whom you are seen as a bright light. Stars of or beacons shining out clear in the dark world. So the world is a dark place that cannot see the light, but the church is an entity that could see the light that's supposed to shine out clear, not perverted. Perverted meaning somehow Satan of eclipse. So it's not that you, you uh, uh, what eclipses, eclipses you're still getting some light, but the light is coming out from the side. So the person might hear ten of your words, and one word brings some light, some wisdom. The person might watch 10 of your action, but one action glorify God or benefit the person. Your thoughts might be many thoughts, but only two thoughts bring glory. You have become perverted, warped. You're not directly facing the light. You're in the right kingdom, but you're failing for whatsoever reason. What is fellowship? Fellowship is that I face the light. I'm sharing what I'm seeing in the light with you. Amen? Amen. And we are helping each other not to get what? Perverted. Mm -hmm. So when Jackie see I'm slipping, she'll listen to my words or my thoughts. And she go, brother, you're speaking of the light, but you look like you're not seeing it properly. She realized I'm becoming a little perverted. So she goes, we, let, let, let's go worship or let's pray again and let's read the word of God. She helped to keep me what? In alignment. To make sure my reflection is what? Clear and pure. One of the easiest ways to get perverted is like to be by yourself. You can't tell. Hmm. You can't tell. You have nothing to compare it what? To. Do you understand? This is why when the Lord sent them out, how did he send them out? Always what? To. To. Yes. You can mirror. Mm -hmm. Without a reflection in the mirror, you can't tell. Mm -hmm. Do you understand this process? Say that is too good. He can pervert you too easy. But the Bible says, according to Solomon, he's right. You got one string is easily what? Snap, overcome. But the Bible said two strong or three strong is much harder to what? The Bible said one man can be easily conquered. But if there are two, the other one can what? Help him or run for help. Do you understand this process? You must understand. You are a beacon in this perverted world. The world is perverted. The church can't be perverted. The church can't be showing crooked lights. The judgment, why God will call you, why haven't you reflect the light in your family, in your thoughts, in your words, appropriately? You'll have to be honest, but he'll tell you, you're perverted. Mm -hmm. 
Then you have become words. warped. Meaning, bottom line, you're, you're getting eclipsed. Satan is deceiving you, distorting you, and distracting you. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Do you know the same Holy Spirit I have, Charles have, mm -hmm. and Jessica have? Which meaning, the same light that I'm looking at, all of you have. Yes. The only thing that will be... The only uh, distinction of reflection is depending on how much we are each looking at what? The light. The light. Do, do you understand? The Bible said God, you understand, no respecter of man on the title. God gives Jazzy the same spirit. Mm -hmm. So if Charles is reflecting this light beautifully and Jazzy not, there's only one thing separate them. He looks, she don't. Somehow she's getting perverted. There's no other way it cannot come out. You don't need to go out in the Bible say under the earth or above. It's in you. It's near you. Did you understand what I'm saying? Hmm. The earlier disciple, they knew Jesus and they can testify as they have testified in the word about Jesus. And we will never know Jesus that way. Here's something very frightening. Do you know we know Jesus in a better way? Yes. They know him without glory. We know him what? In glory. Wow. They know him without the resurrection power. We know him what? Oh, shalom asap here. They know him bound by time and space. We, mm -hmm. we know him any. Unlimited! And we co-share. Do, 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 do you understand this process? His power. His now here's a sad and frightening. The limited Jesus that they know they did better than us. <laughs> oh. 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 We have the unlimited Jesus. I am sorry. Most of us are sorry for. We're laughing. We are lacking tremendously certain components of him. And it doesn't even bother us. It doesn't bother you. Your brother and sisters are failing to walk certain way. And the church is suffering loss. And the light is coming out perverse. Perverted. Crooked. Work. No. Why? You are preoccupied. Church, it's, it is not to be so. It is a time for repentance. We have to repent for the sad state of affair. How we are in the kingdom of light, out of the dominion of darkness, and not reflecting appropriately. I am telling you, if you pray to the Lord and say, Father, I'm sorry for the way I've been living. Make up what is lacking in me that I can benefit your body. I know I'm a light in this dark and perverse and crooked world. Let me release in all reflection, whether in thoughts, words, and deeds, Jesus in his purest state. Yeah. And if you're sincere, you mean that watch what happened. Yes. The only thing you got to worry about is going to take away anything that is making you prefer. Yeah, every impurity that is pure. The Bible says you're supposed to be uncontaminated, meaning yeah. nothing can block the light. So every contaminant then he needs to what? Remove. For well, some of you is alcohol, make you lose the light, you get drunk. Yeah. Some of you is drunk, some of you is smoking, some of you is eating, some of you is movie, is distract. There's something taking your attention. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Something distract you. Some of you is the social engagement. Yeah. Oh, you are the social ball. Yes. Yes. Some of you is self. You are so busy giving self what you want with its insistent demand, which is never separated from sin. Oh, you have no time to behold the light. Some of you have the flesh or the world. The Bible said the world and its glamour and its glitter. Mm -hmm. And you give up the kingdom of light. Here's a secret. This church will not increase until you reflect like them collectively. Mm -hmm. I'm included. Do you understand this process? Yes. yes. The kingdom of God will not be glorified, and the commission, which is upon the church, take the gospel, take this light, amen, to all men, will not spread until you reflect better. I know some of you might be under this illusion. It is past the phrase of responsibility <laughs> to shine the light to the world so the world be enlightened. News. Focus. All part of the body. Our news flash. Wrong all part of the body. Mm -hmm. I don't meet all the people you meet. That is your responsibility. That's right. And where I meet them, it's my responsibility. And it's all of our responsibility to raise up the body. Mm -hmm. And when you get rid of that distraction, 
It's when your eyes can see what your real purpose is. Yes. And then you start to become fruitful. Yes. To see your purpose, the first thing you need to pray, Lord, help me to fix or to make up what is lacking in me for the sake of your body. In effect, Lord, let me fix what is lacking in me for your purpose. Amen. And God's purpose is always to raise up his body. In effect, God wants his light to be more dominant in the dark world. Mm -hmm. He can't get that if the body don't what? Raise up. He wants all the body to shine light, to reflect light Amen. properly. Mm -hmm. That's his purpose. Amen. There are many areas he'll raise up the body, but the focus remains the same. Raising up the body or building up the body is Jackie's responsibility and Jackie and Charles and every one of you and mine. But none of this can be done if we don't make up in what is what? Lacking. Do you understand this process? It is time we grow up. I am ashamed to say something when I read the Bible. I got my, old, my, my, my older brothers and sisters of the past that know the limited Christ were more effective than we are today. Peter was old in now, that is the best thing. You guys know Peter was a, was a coward. There's, among the disciples, he seems to be the strongest. He was the most dominant. His personality is very, very strong. Mm -hmm. Very, very strong. Mm -hmm. But as strong as he is, they show you his human imperfection. Mm -hmm. A little maid girl undoing. <laughs> I mean undoing, make him lie and cuss. But eventually, he got past self and he received the resurrection power. And Peter, the people used to lay... The people used to lay their, their sick to the side of the road. And when Peter walked, the light that he was beholding, his shadow was healing. Yes. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yeah, the power of God. Paul can take the light that he, he behold and touch an handkerchief or speak it into an handkerchief. And the light what? Went up. Hallelujah. Now, do you think they're just special more than you? Not no. normal human beings? They were unselfish. Uh, are they have a, a different God from you? No. They just behold in them. They just ask God to make sure they're not deceived, distorted, or distracted. They changed their agenda. Bottom line. Amen. They just had a different agenda. Amen. Christ was their agenda. Perfect. They didn't have Netflix back then. No, no Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> And, and you know, oh, I did. I'll oh, say is doing it in every generation. He just get clever. Yeah. He's got okay. I just gotta find a way to disturb them, deceive yeah. them, and distract them. I think the internet will come for everybody. So I'm just gonna expand the internet, fill it with garbage. <laughs> Church, be careful what you're preoccupied with. Be very careful. Yeah. You are a light in this dark and perverted world. The world may have an excuse, their father. What can you expect? We are perverted. We can't be older like. How are we going to excuse ourselves? Were we in the wrong kingdom? I don't think so. We've got to stop here today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You've got to to dress us and send us out. You are. My expectation of you and you should have the same expectation of me. I expect you to reflect light. I know you have no light within yourself, no more than the earlier church, or I, or anybody do. But I know you are in the kingdom of light, and if you behold the sun of light, you will reflect light in your thoughts, your words, and your deeds. And you shall be a light in this world, and the kingdom of God shall be glorified, the church shall be built up, and humans shall benefit. Amen? We're going to take up tithing now, and then we're going to take up communion as usual. We want to take this time to thank all of you as the followers of YouTube and the We thank God for your life and appreciate your life. But we're trusting God He's going to keep watching over you and your own soul and keep leading you with enlightenment. I trust the word benefit you today. Stay in the lunar system. But the earth must stay in the enlightened, amen, and the lit system so it can be illuminated and highlighted and show forth what it's called for that second place to do. So we Christians are to remain in Christ, the Son of Righteousness. We have no light of our own, nothing good of our own. Our best good, the Bible says, a filthy ministration cloth. But when we receive all the Jesuses and reflect it, the kingdom of God shall be glorified, the church shall be built, and man shall bend. As usual, if no one or anyone listening to this have not accepted the Lord yet, I invite you to do, do so right now. And I'm going to join my faith with you and assure the church support it in the name of Jesus.
that if right now you call upon the name of Jesus, amen, and ask him to be saved, you shall be absolutely amen. and totally and thoroughly saved. That if you confess right now and join with me and say, I believe Jesus is the Son of God, and God raised him from the dead, and he's amen. the Lord and the Christ, and I accept him as my Lord and personal Savior, then you shall be saved and saved to the uttermost, and given the Holy Spirit that we talk about in uh, John chapter 14, verse 18 to 20. You're going to be given a comforter, a helper, someone to advocate and fight and stand in for you, and going to help you get familiar with the kingdom. But not for you alone, you and your whole household in the name of Jesus. And you can be that light in the world, benefiting your fellow man, glorifying God, and living your highest life. I thank God for your life in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus to translate us, transform us from the kingdom of darkness that used to dominate us, dominate our spirit, our soul, our body, our family, our resource, mm -hmm. our thoughts, our words, our deeds. Everything was influenced by darkness. No good could have come from us because we were steeped in darkness. Mm -hmm. Evil does plunder us, Father. Drain us of every good you have put in us. But though we have become, Father, so dissipated, so useless, so worthless, you pursue us on an account of your sure mercy and unfailing love. According to Luke 1, you said, those that sit in darkness and the shadow of death, a light will dawn on them from up on high. We so thank you for Jesus. You extend your mercy. You atone for our uselessness, our wickedness. And you transform, transform us from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of your glorious Son of light. Amen. You are merciful. You give us a Holy Spirit to help us, to keep us, to watch over us, to fight for us, to advocate. So we can keep beholding you. Amen. So in all of our thoughts, all of our words, and all of our deeds, we will reflect you. We will never be perverted in what we will be and what we will do. Let us reflect you, Father, the fullness of your glory in every situation, every circumstance, every condition, in all thoughts, all words, and all deeds, whether we're going in or we're coming out in our families, in our church. Let us glorify you in all we will be, Father, by constantly making up, Father, and working on what's lacking in us. Not to put back what's already dissipated, but take from Jesus and put in us just as the Holy Spirit has been charged. Father, today I thank you for making up everything that is lacking in us, spirit, Father, soul, body, family, resource, and administration, Father. So in every moment we will reflect your light without any pervertedness in the name of Jesus. Oh, let it be a perfect reflection. As the moon, when it's in full moon state, perfectly reflecting the light of the sun, let us in every situation, circumstance, and condition reflect you perfectly. The enemy will never have no inroad upon the church, no influence, no activity, no snare, no attack. The church has been called to be like the moon, to reflect the perfect sun of glory, the sun of righteousness. Father, from this moment and every moment forth, as the church go forward, Father, no matter where they'll be, in their home, in their work, in their relationship, going in and out, let them reflect the you, Father. Let them reflect Jesus in every circumstance, every condition, every thoughts, every word, Father, every manifestation. Oh, the enemy is absolutely defeated, desolated. All of his work, all of his trying of bringing forth and saturating darkness have been overcome. For the sons of light is at hand through the grace of God. They have no light of themselves. But the sun of glory illuminate in them and around them ceaselessly and continuously. Mm -hmm. Father, we commit this communion into your hands. May it be pleasing and acceptable unto you. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name we say. Amen. Amen.